Hello, shifters. This is Mark Atwood, a developer evangelist on the OpenShift team at Red Hat. And today, I'd like to show you a neat new feature that we have just added to OpenShift. We call it Instant Application. It's pretty easy to install an application on OpenShift. You create the application container, and then you go to GitHub and use one of our quick starts um, to install the application of your choice. But we have made it even easier. If you come to the OpenShift Web Management Console and look at the new Create Application tab, you'll see a catalog of applications that we've made ready for instant install. We have the JBoss Kitchen Sync. We have the WordPress blog. We also have two frameworks, Drupal and Ruby on Rails. This is a show that we can do both applications and frameworks. This catalog is going to grow over time, so please let us know what other applications you would like to see added to it. For the sake of this example, I'm going to start up a WordPress. If I come to the WordPress Instant App and tap Select, information about the WordPress Instant Application will come up. Here you can see Configure New Application. The here's documentation about the application will start. It's a WordPress application, which is described at WordPress.org, and we're going to be installing version 3.3.2. OpenShift itself is going to use the PHP 5.3 language container and start up a MySQL 5.1 database cartridge and attach it. Also, here is the URL for the um, Quick Start repository that this application is based on. It's important to now have access to that repository so you can see what code we're going to be installing for you and also to get such important information as the administration password for your application so you can change it after it's installed. Here is where we enter the name of our application. The public URL will be hp colon slash slash the application name dash then the namespace for your application rhcloud.com. We'll call this application blog. Imatwood is the namespace for my personal OpenShift account. We tap the, the blue create application button and off it goes. What's happening behind the scenes is as OpenShift is starting up the appropriate sized gear it's enabling PHP on it. It's, it's starting up a MySQL 5.1 database, configuring it and attaching it to, the, um, to that gear. And then it's cloning the application from GitHub and bringing it up. And once it's running, then it has to propagate the DNS for the application around the world. So this can take a little while. So we'll wait just a moment. Now we can see what OpenShift has done. Here is the information for the MySQL database that was created, including its root password, in case we never need to connect to it and change the data on it. We have information about accessing our application, including the URL that we created, and also an application overview page that allows us to do such things as start, stop, and destroy our application. Let's take a look at our application and see what we see. And here is the OpenShift WordPress example site. We could log into it with the administration information we got from looking at the GitHub repository, and we can see the initial bit of information. That's all there is for creating um, instant start applications in OpenShift, two clicks and a name. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please let us know. And if you do anything awesome with OpenShift, please drop us a line and show it to us. Thank you for trying OpenShift and have a great day.